Hey guys, uh, hey fourth grade, what's up? Here we are for another week of social studies with me, Miss Stevenson. This week we are on to week five and we're going to be talking about a new nation. All right, so the war for independence. What is independence? Let's talk about that word first. What is independence? Right, independence is freedom from something else. So April 19th, 1775, a shot heard around the world started the American Revolution. George Washington was appointed general and commander in chief of the new Continental Army. Appointed kind of just means put into that position, almost like you're hired for something, but he was just appointed to it, given that he didn't have to apply or beat anybody out. They just said, hey, we pick you. We want you, George Washington, to be our new commander in chief and lead this new Continental Army in this war for independence. July 4th, 1776, the Congress accepted the Declaration of Independence. America is no longer a part of Great Britain, so that's what they were fighting for them, is the Americas wanted that independence from Great Britain. So all those explorers that came over and made all these new settlements, they were still living by Great Britain's rules and they did not want that anymore. So that's why they started this American Revolution so that they could be separate from them, from them, goodness, I'm so sorry, and kind of start their own way of life over in the america so america was no longer a part of great britain july 4th 1776 does july 4th ring any bells yes independence day that is why we celebrate the 4th of july it marks when the declaration of independence was signed and america was free from great britain and as we just talked about that, I got a little bit ahead of myself. I'm sorry, I should have clicked it. So July 4th is celebrated as Independence Day, just like we just said. So that's why there's fireworks and celebrations and cookouts, because it is something to be celebrated. They won that war for independence and were able to be separate from Great Britain. All righty, Britain which is spelled way wrong. Oh my goodness, Ms. Burroughs, silly, silly. Britain won many victories over the Americas in the next several years. So we won the big one, but Britain did um, win smaller battles over the next several years. October um, 1777, the Americas won their first victory of the Revolutionary War, uh, War which was the Battle at Saratoga. In 1779, Spain and France came and helped the Americas win the Revolutionary War. So Spain and France became allies to us against Great Britain. Um, they sent soldiers, supplies, money, very similar to what we do for our troops today when we send um, supplies and things like that overseas to our soldiers. Spain and France did that for us. Um, they, Great Britain still continued to win victories, which discouraged the Americans. So you got to think, if you won this really big war, you're kind of almost like on a high, right? You're like, yes, we are awesome. We won. We're going to win everything. Um, but if you've ever played a sport, you know that you can't win everything. And sometimes when we lose, we get a little discouraged. And so that's what the Americans were feeling whenever Great Britain continued to have these small victories. All right, Alabama's loyalty. Alabama was not one of the 13 original colonies that wanted independence from Great Britain, okay? There were 13 original colonies that wanted that independence, but Alabama was not one of them. Alabama wanted to stay loyal to England or Great Britain, okay? Those names can be used interchangeably. England is Great Britain. So they wanted to stay loyal. They didn't want a different way of life. They liked the way that things were going and how life was going for them under Great Britain's or England's rule. Um, but during the Revolutionary War, Alabama became a popular place for British colonists who wanted to be safe from war. So whenever um, British soldiers, soldiers felt like they needed that refuge, refuge, I am so struggling to speak today. I am so sorry, guys. Um, whenever they wanted that refuge, they knew that Alabama was a safe place because they were still loyal to England. Um, when a man came to Alabama carrying copies of the Declaration of Independence, he was thrown into a Fort Charlotte prison. 
he was thrown into prison just because he carried the, a copy of the Declaration of Independence. That's how loyal Alabama was to, to Great Britain, to England. They wanted nothing to do with even entertaining the thought of being separate from them. Um, these facts show that Alabama was loyal to England and not the Americas, which when you're on the American side of things, like physically where you are, that's kind of hard, right? Because they were loyal to a country that was across the ocean from them. And they're in the midst of all of these other colonies that are wanting nothing to do with England. Alrighty, and we are going to stop here today and we will continue um, on tomorrow with the rest of our lesson. This lesson's kind of like last week. There's a whole lot of really important information. So I want to make sure that we break it down a little bit out of a time so that we're not overwhelmed with all the information at once and we can remember things better. All right, guys, you have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you back here tomorrow for more.